Hello everybody, welcome back to Wolf Quest, and we are here with Buckley, and we actually finished our very first litter with Buckley, and he's our very first wolf that we played as so far on Wolf Quest, and we're going to be starting our journey with our mate, Sun Pelt, and you guys will see that I am in the menu screen, um, and that is because in the last episode, I think I totally forgot to go over the pups when, um, like gr growing them up so that they could possibly be future wolves that we will play as. So, um, if we take a look here at his family tree, we'll see that he's part of the Buckley pack. Or, uh, Buckley pack. I thought it was the Buck Antler pack. Oh, oh okay, wait. So, alright, okay, I see. So yes, the Buck Antler pack, and we will see that we have Supernova, Starstruck, Bambi, Fawn, and Sunlight, who sadly died in the earlier episodes with our first litter here. So, um, I don't think- did we grow them up? No, we didn't. So, we're just gonna grow them up real quick. Uh, do you wanna start playing now? No. We're not gonna make them Iron Wolves. Um, no. Uh, wait. Yeah, that was, I think, just in Starstruck, so... No. 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 And no. Alright. So, now we can type in the Buck Antler pack here. Alright. And we will see... His, his pup here, and Fawn, oh my god, Fawn, I actually love her coat, like, the green eyes with this coat, I think matches really nice, it's honestly pretty, um, this is Starstruck, actually, we, let's go over, like, um, her, like, characteristics, um, so, we can see that she has the white cheeks, I think, because it's selected. So, she has the white cheeks, which is part of the first unlockable set. Uh, here are her eyes. I love the green. This is her primary howl. And her- oop. Let's not. Alright, actually, what I want to do- What I want to do is- Let's just keep this a surprise, maybe? Until one day we- do play as them. But let's just go over just their fur. So I want to start to play as Buckley. And I honestly have a surprise for you guys too, and I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, so here's Starstruck. I love her coat, and I think her eyes go great. Um, just the orange with her dark fur. Or Starstruck. Yeah, Starstruck was a girl. This is Supernova. Again, gorgeous. He has a really similar coat to, um, Starstruck. Bambi, I think their coats just go well, just like, go so well together with their eyes. I love the orange in their eyes. And now we're back here with Buckley. Now, I have a surprise for you guys, and I'm so excited. I So today, the Hell Roaring Mountain DLC came out, and I'm so excited to play it. I could have bought Lost River, the Lost River DLC, the Coats DLC, uh, I think there's like one other DLC. I didn't get those. Um, but I got the Hell Roaring DLC because that is a brand new map, totally unfamiliar with it, and this is going to be my very first experience with it here with you guys, so that just makes it even better, and I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, and I'm sorry guys, it's been a long time since I uploaded a Wolf Quest video. I did upload a Planet Zoo video, but that before that it was just been a while. I've been busy and I um I'm 15, so I just took on my first job and so I'm gonna be working weekends, so it might make it even more difficult. Um, but that means I'll be making my own money and maybe I can help like make new content by having that money so I can buy DLCs, buy more games and stuff. It's not going to be crazy, but if I can afford it and um, if, if I'm not paying too much, then I will for you guys. I think it's going to be great. Um, 
But yeah, so, last episode I saw in the comments that you guys suggested Amethyst Mountain, and I want to do Amethyst Mountain, but, like, I'm sure you guys would want to see the Hell Roaring Mountain DLC, because that is, I've been so excited for that DLC. So, and I'm sure you guys are too, and we're just gonna dive into this together. I've never had any experience with the Hell Roaring Mountain DLC. So, how will we do this? Single player. Uh, alright. So we're gonna come here to the map. Hell Roaring Mountain. Find mate. No, we're gonna go with Sun Pelt. Permadeath. Accurate. Ooh, okay, so this is interesting. Ooh, no vacancy? That wasn't a thing. That was only a thing in, um... That was only a thing in multiplayer. And we have a lot of space in some of these. That's really interesting. So, I will be back. I'm gonna do a, a wheel spin, and we're just gonna... It's gonna randomly pick a location for us to spawn at. Alrighty, so... Um, we were given... Four options, we're gonna go with three options, central, northwest, or southwest, and the wheel has chosen, and we are gonna go with southwest here. Alright, I'm just, I'm, I am so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm just, I have been waiting so long, and I'm really excited for the saga, we are getting there. Wolf Quest is taking the time, and that is alright, because I want quality, not some rushed product, and so I am just so excited to see how this map is. Just unfamiliar land, we're gonna try to um, see where this goes. So, um, it says, A wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else, from hunting elk to defending a territory, drives toward this single goal. You and your mates survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now you can try to realize this goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, sometimes called alphas, of your pack. Their survival and the survival of your genetic code will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you have faced to reach this point, your real struggle has only just begun. So, establish your territory. You and your mate are expecting pups. You must now carve out your own territory here in the lower slopes of Hell Roaring Mountain. Uh, later, just before the pups are born in two months, you must find a good den within your territory. Other packs are also expecting pups, so they are establishing and expanding their territories too. You need to make sure you claim enough space to create a safe buffer, uh, buffer, a safe buffer to protect your vulnerable pups from them. So we know how to establish our territory. This is Buckley's second litter, after all, so he is a pretty experienced dad. Still, still have a lot to go when it comes to learning, but he made it with his first litter, and so we are gonna see where Buckley and Senpel are with their parenting experience, and let's just see how successful this next litter will be. So it's been quite a while since we've been here with Buckley. Um, so I'm gonna hope that we're gonna be able to survive. We're gonna be able to survive, we're gonna hope that our pups can survive. Um, ooh, is that a hair over there? That is... Eagle Creek, that is a new... That's a new group. Never, uh... Never heard of that one. They did, like, they just came out with a massive update, so... There is going to be a lot of new changes. Like the, the no vacancy thing. I'm gonna hope that this is not too bad for you guys. I mean, to me, it seems kind of loud, so I'm just gonna, like, turn down. Let's turn this down just, like, a tad bit. I don't know. It just seems a little loud to me. Um, but right now it's snowy. We don't really know what the terrain or, like, anything here looks like at all. <laughs> it's pretty blinding out. Is there any elk? There isn't. We don't have any food, but right now, our goal is to mark territory, and that is what we are going to do. Um, let's actually take a look here at the different location. So, that's interesting. Oh, so that's Montana, I think. Wait, what? No. Wait, are we that north? 
Okay. I think... I'm trying to figure out. Okay, I think we are... Oh, yeah, we are very north. So that might be... Because this is the Yellowstone National Park border, and that has to be, like, Montana. Because Mo this is Wyoming. Montana is right above Wyoming. So if we look here, this is Cottonwood Creek. So that looks like it would be uh, Cottonwood Creek right there. Uh, this is Little Cottonwood Creek. Tornado Drainage. Uh, Geode Creek, I think that's what that says. Geode Marsh. Black Canyon of the Yellowstone. Enchanted Forest. That is a quite an interesting name. Hellroaring Creek. Basalt Cliff. Uh, Little Buffalo Creek. Buffalo Plateau. And Coyote Creek. So there seems to be a lot of creeks in the area. Um, oh, and Antelope Marsh and Oxbow Bench. Um, and then there is Slough Creek. So it seems like from Slough Creek, we can travel to Hell Roaring Mountain. Um, which is interesting. That's good to know in case we ever decide to move here. Um, but we're, right now our goal is just Mark. And we need to get food. <laughs> because... I thought I saw, like, an elk scent, but I don't think so, because I'm not seeing anything else up there. I mean, we could try going for mule deer, but I'd say it's not really worth it. Did have that one episode of Buckley. Did have that one episode of, of Buckley and Sun Pelt out hunting mule deer long ago, before, um, when, before they were even maids. I think they are still getting to know each other. That seems to be a little, ooh, quite, uh, quite a bit of coyotes. Um, but yeah. So, normally I would skip this part. It can be a little repetitive having to mark. And we're honestly just walking. So, I might skip it, because this is what I do. I like to skip. And then if I come across anything, I will. And I wasn't going to skip it just because, um... Just because it could take, like, a long time. Um, honestly, I don't even know why I'm walking. I just realized I don't even walk when I'm doing- when I'm marking territory. It's only, like, when I'm in the looking for a mate part. So, yeah. I haven't played Wolf Quest in a while, so <laughs> I forgot that I usually just run through this entire thing. Um, but I honestly might skip this just unless I come across anything, but I don't know because this is like unfamiliar land and I want to like w like experience This with you guys for the first time. I Think I saw like an ungulate up there, but I'm pretty sure it's a mule deer Because that's all I'm smelling for deer We didn't even howl over there, but that's okay. I'm gonna hope that I can actually get this done in the same hour, and if not, if it seems like I'm gonna be running out of time, then I will skip the rest of it until I'm done marking. But, um, because like I said, marking territory can get repetitive, boring, um, but it's part of a wolf's life, and it's a really major factor. So, like, not much you can do about that. <laughs> but, like I said, I wanted to experience this in, um, for the first time with you guys. And I'm sure that for a lot of you guys, when seeing this, it's gonna be the first time that you're seeing Hellroy Mountain 2 because this is just a brand new DLC that just came out. Today. I think it did today. I haven't, like I said, I haven't played Wolf Quest in a while. I thought that was a rabbit. Sorry, Mr. Fox. Um, still not smelling anything. <laughs> I hope elk ex elk must exist on Hell Roaring Mountain. That's a rabbit. I want to go for the rabbit in case we don't end up finding any elk. We seem to be in a bit of a mountainous area, so they might not even be in this area. So I think, like, in a really old, like, Wolf West dev vlog or something. 
they mentioned that like during the winter the elk are gonna move like more in the lower ranges of the mountain where it's like flatter I think if I'm not mistaken if I'm if I'm remembering correctly that is gorgeous guys have been watching for a bit you guys know that I love to take screenshots especially for a thumbnail but it's just like a barren landscape of snow up here and I love how like it's just kind of hazy out and the Sun is just peering over the trees Honestly, we haven't even come across a uh, den yet, so it's gonna, it's actually gonna be really interesting because I think they said that they're adding new dens. Um, so it's gonna be really cool to see the type of den designs that they come up with. Really hoping that we can uh, find an elk herd soon because Buckley is a bit tired, and I'm sorry if you hear my phone going off. I just shut off the notifications for that. Is there another rabbit up here? There is, so we're gonna go for that. Buckley seems a little slow. I don't know, it might just- it might be the snow that's slowing him down. Um... That's probably what that is. But I- I love how it's just like... Oh look, and like the plateaus or whatever. <laughs> not really good with the different types of geographical features. Whoa! Wolf carcass. Those are coyotes. That's interesting. So there seems to be a wolf carcass coming from this direction. Already get- we're, we're like already like smelling the drama that this land like has. So either maybe a wolf got in a wolf attack and it died or it could have died from a predator or um like a different predator like a bear or a cougar or something or maybe um it got killed by like an elk or a moose out while hunting but there are there's a little creo or whatever of coyotes a little pack of coyotes across the river from us Ooh, and there's more of wolf carcass scent coming this way. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, it's coming this way. I think we're gonna just ignore that up there, and we're gonna just focus here, and if we have to, we'll claim hexes up that way. Sun pelt. As per usual, she's just delaying in the snow whenever she can. Maybe we'll come across this carcass. Who knows? Just keep peeing. For, like, I'm just a little bit out of the habit of, like, everything. Look at the- I love how it just, like, turns into, like... I'm not, I don't know. I'm, like, trying to get, like, a cool- because like the, the color like mixture right here from like the like orangey color to like green to blue is so pretty I mean I don't I, I love this game I'm, like I'm so passionate about it. I've been playing this game since uh, I've been like eight years old or something so I've been playing since the 2000. 7 version 2.5 and I like I, I love this game and I love how far it has come from where it, like where it originally has been just such great development and the developers are so passionate about this game I just I love it and the community Oh, um, we might have came by a dead end, possibly. 
Hope not. Yeah, that is certain death right there. That means we gotta go all the way around. But you know what? We'll put a hex right here. And we don't have to make it 100 because we're gonna be going around and the border. I like to keep the border 100 though. And I'm just gonna see what I have for time here. Alright. Um, because if it starts to get. I like. I try to keep it under an hour, so if it starts to get a bit long, I'm gonna have to skip until I'm done marking, unfortunately. But. Right now, we're just marking and trying to, like, talk to you guys and stuff. Hopefully it hasn't been too boring, but I'm just so excited about, um, Hell Roaring Mountain. Just what this land has to offer. Even if it's just a barren, snowy landscape. Ooh! Oh, okay, finally! Now we have found- or haven't found- we haven't found, but we are close to a nearby den, so use the icon writer under the compass to find it. Uh, far, so this is far, close, very close, and density of floating scents and appearance scent view. Um, okay, here we go. So, that was easy. Sometimes finding dens can be quite a challenge, even with the scent view. Or, and even the icon, too. But, right now the wind is on our side. I, I mean, I can't say that about the elk. We haven't smelled any. Oh, that's interesting. I've never smelled... Wolverine?! I totally forgot about Wolverine. That is such an interesting- I don't even know- I lost the den. Oh, great. Oh, here it is. Oh my god, are we gonna find Wolverines? That's such an interesting den, though, because I, that's actually a, a, a new design. Wolverines, five minutes ago? Are we gonna find one? Where did it go? Like, that's a Wolverine track. It kind of looks kind of cool, to be honest. The Wolverine's been down this way. <gasps> oh, it's running! Dude, that is so cool! Oh my god, can we please get a screenshot? No, please, please, please. I don't want to fight you, little Wolverine. I mean, they're not so little in real life, but... I just, I want to get a cool screenshot. Oh my god. I'm... I mean, it looks kind of awkward. I just want to get like a- I don't want to die. That would be- Oh, he's coming after us. Wolverines are not that friendly of creatures, to be honest. Oh, that's actually- I kind of like that. I just wish the notification would like go away. That's alright. Oh! <laughs> No, I'm trying to get a screenshot. I'm like, I get really distracted by screenshots. I'm sorry, people. Oh, I don't want to, I don't want to get hit. That would be really bad for us. It's whatever. We'll come across so many more Wolverines in the future. Some pelt, don't bother to Wolverine. It didn't do anything to us. It's just been trying to mind its business. Oh my god, but that is actually a brand new animal that they added. And I'm pretty sure that they're working on bighorn sheep. Um, so, bighorn sheep. I thought the teal, or, yeah, I think it's a teal, was, like, another wolf pack, and I was like, huh, I've never seen a wolf pack with that, like, scent color before, but, nope, it's wolverine. And I totally forgot what I was saying. Oh, yeah, so I think they're working on, the, like, the bighorn sheep, or they might be done with it, but I think they're waiting to release it into the game. Um, as it might be an an Amethyst Mountain exclusive, I'm not sure. Um, I don't think so, but... I think they're waiting to release it for the saga. If I'm not wrong. If I could be. Don't take my word for it. And then we'll, like, we can just urinate one more time. So, oh, finally! The Heather Herd, I think. That's how it's pronounced. I mean, yeah, I think it's pronounced Heather. Um, and another den. All right, I'm gonna mark this, but right now I'm gonna mark here, saying that this this area right here is a den. But I wanna see if we can hunt. Uh, 
some elk because this is our first time. And see how it's a little bit, the terrain's a bit flatter. So yeah, I think that, like, I think they move more in flatter, softer terrain. Um, less rugged terrain during the winter times. Or the snowy times, I, sh I should say. Just going to howl. But yeah, I do want to come here because it might, it might be a while before we even see another elk herd because that did take quite a bit for us to come across any elk. One more, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be one more time, but hopefully it brings up the territory significantly. Alright, actually that was really good. Brought it up by 20%, I believe. And there are, there's another dispersal scent. Who are you? Fish trap pack. That's a new one. They could also be hunting. Oh yeah, they were hunting. Yep, that that I'm pretty sure that might be the heather elk herd. But if not, it's a, it's an elk herd and. All right, we do want to get around this elk herd so that we can herd it further into our territory and so actually take a look at uh, these surrounding packs. So we have the Cottonwood Creek, that's like the purplish kind of tone here. Uh, we have the Coyote Creek, which is the red, and the Buffalo Plateau, which is the dark blue. So we're going to come around here. Um, a lot of Wolf Quest players will say that, like, you want to, like make sure that they can't smell you or anything but honestly what i like to do is just keep them from going into stranger wolf territory so we're gonna chase them just further into our territory here yeah they must have just been like hunted because they're very flighty that's pronghorn we're not even gonna bother with those guys they're wicked fast um, let's see, this, this cow elk is a bit slow. Oh no, yeah, they're with their calves, that's why. We'll just go for a calf then. This is a really slow calf, so it's probably really weak. Not really. But we just want to be very careful. I already, like, had a wolf die from, like, getting killed by, by an elk. And he, this was, like, doing the finding a mate thing. <gasps> Oh, he's, he just got a really good hit right there. That's not good. But we're, we're doing all right. Let's just try to get our stamina back up. Come on, we can do this. Oh, move, 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 move. Come on. Thank you. Oh, there we go. All right, it was worth it. She didn't drastically bring down our health with that hit. So it can be very like crucial, but we got we got what we wanted here, which was um this elk calf. Definitely need food. And we definitely need to have food if we are going to have puppies. There's a bit a small bison herd. I think that they're thinking of bringing bison calves. I'm not sure. I thought I heard them say that. I could be totally wrong. Or just like more like sophisticated bison herds like the elk herds. Oh, I'm sorry Sun Pelt. Do you still have to eat? We're gonna wait and if she doesn't need to eat anymore then No, you don't need to eat All right doesn't So we will keep on Moving, and I'm just gonna check the time. Alright. Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, there is a den up that way. Or we can keep marking territory and see what other dens will come across. I think that's what we'll do, is just get the work, just cracking down on getting this territory done. First. And if if we're lucky, we'll 
find more dens along the way. And then eventually come back to that den. But right now, we are just um, trying to complete this little quest here of uh, marking territory. And yeah, when I'm first establishing a territory, I just try to power through it, don't even like sleep, just run the entire thing, make sure we got food, um, just get it done. Because, oh see, like I said, we're probably going to come across another den. So yeah, I just like to run through it, because if we sleep then we risk other packs taking over our territory and stuff. So. That's why I just like to power through the entire thing. I like that too. That. All right. And the wind is not on our side this time. So we're gonna have to just use the icon. We are getting close though. They like to face south. The dens tend to face south to, I think, get the most sunlight. So it's probably gonna be over here. I mean, it just got lighter. I mean, it's. I don't believe that would be a den. Yeah. That's south. It's like probably up here. Oh, yeah, it's definitely getting up. Oh. That's a cougar. Don't want to mess with them. Is it over here? That's a hair, and it got lighter again. Where could this stem be? Oh, that's a den icon. Oh, okay, it's one of these dens. And I think that's from. I think that's from. Um. The den we just found, but um, the yellow uh, dispersal. Sorry, I'm like losing my train of thought. <laughs> the yellow um, dispersal scent that we just smelled was the Hayden pack. I'm pretty sure the Hayden pack is not a new pack. I could be wrong. They sound familiar. I'm not sure. And also, guys, please, if you guys have any puppy names for our for this litter and any upcoming litters just please like comment them I would definitely appreciate it um because like eventually I run out of name ideas and I would love it if you guys would just suggest whatever you guys think would be awesome and I would definitely choose them um so I want to have you guys be more involved with my um, decision making and stuff. I want you guys to have a part in that. And that's another elk curd. Yeah, they're definitely going to become more frequent now that we're in softer terrain. They're off running. Not that hungry, so the hair can... Uh, we'll let that hair be. <laughs> Impact seems to be pretty prevalent over here. Hopefully we won't come across them while we're marking territory because we are pretty cool. we're pretty tired at the moment. And if we get in a fight with them, it, it's gonna be pretty detrimental. And Buckley knows that from experience. Like the Bachelor Brothers, if you guys remember, that was terrible. And I think we got in some fights with some other dispersals, like the Beartooth Sisters, I think. Are they still... No, they're totally different. Um, 
Although I think this what I think this would have saved. I think this would have saved if I didn't um start the game from the main menu. I think all the wolves we would have known would have saved. I'm not sure. There's a glow stick over there. That's interesting. Probably would not be that environmentally friendly if a wolf got its mouth on a glow stick and it like chewed on it and it exploded. Probably would not be good. We're just gonna cross here. What creek are we crossing here? Um, so it's confluence. I didn't even notice that. So what? I guess this area is known as the Black Canyon of the Yellowstone. Alright, so this would be Geode Creek, I guess. That's Garnet Hill. I don't think I noticed that either. Oops, Carson. This is a pretty shallow creek. The uh, color is also pretty interesting, too. It's like a greenish. And let's make sure that we have... Still have quite a bit to do when it comes to marking. I mean, I'm a little disappointed that, like, we don't have the wolves from our past litter remembered at Far Known Wolves. Because it would be good to know, like, what they're up to. Are they still alive or not? Oh, okay. That's not even of the border so we don't need to waste your time howling there and I'm just gonna check what time it is all right so I think what I'm gonna do in the next upcoming minutes is pause the game oh okay so these guys, I'm not gonna even bother. If they are, if we end up coming across them, we'll try like throwing them off. But like we're so tired right now, and our stamina is so low, I don't want to risk it. But yeah, like I said, if um like next upcoming minutes, I'm gonna skip this. Unless I come across anything, but otherwise I want to skip this until I have this territory marked. Um, and then it, with any upcoming minutes, maybe, or actually I think once I'm done marking, we'll just, um, we'll just leave Buckley B. But, just to save time, I think I'm going to end up skipping this. But we'll, we'll see. Because we do, we do have quite a bit to go. We still have, um, all, like, all Geo Creek area right here. The Antelope Marsh, Oxbow Bench, Geode Marsh. We still have all that to cover. And actually, how many dens have we found so far? We only found two. And honestly, that might be the same here. I don't know. No, it can't be, because we found that one before, so... Like, yeah, that's moose and a mule deer. Yep, I can see the moose right there. back with you guys shortly. Buckley here is just going to continue marking and if I come across anything I will uh, get back to you guys. But I will see you guys once Buckley is done marking. Alright so um, we just came across two wolves dispersals. I don't even know who they are. Ooh, Talula? They're male. So this is 12.05 M uh, and 10.02 M. They are brothers. 
Oh boy, and they are not friendly. They are not friendly. They are not friendly. Or, of course, they won't be friendly, but they're not scared of us. Oh boy, we should have just left them go. <laughs> Alright, hold on. We can do this. We can scare them off. Just pee. Okay, never mind. Get back in the territory. Never that's also not gonna work. Hold on. My volume is like so low right now. So I was talking. Let me just turn this up. Oh, does one have like a mangy tail? Do they have some interesting, like, lonely howls? I want to get around them so that I can mark the hex. Maybe this will hopefully scare them away. Nope, that's not gonna do anything. Oh my god, Buckley, don't die. I think we're just gonna have to let them go. Like, there's not much we can do about that. Um, unless we wanna die. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm honestly not gonna really worry too much about these kind of, uh, hexes. Just because they're right on the border. And sometimes marking along the border can get annoying. So, yeah. Anyways, um, just wanted to update you guys on that. And I'll see you guys, like I said, once I'm done marking territory. And if there, if anything else comes up, I will, um, get back with you guys. Alright, so I am back here, and actually, I, ooh, these are the Eagle Creek females, so I saw this herd just running. And, oh boy, they're coming back. I saw this herd just running, and I'm like, are there wolves hunting at the moment? And there are. Oh boy, it's actually a trio, and they are running from us. I've noticed that the females are definitely much more, um, definitely much more skittish than the males are. Oh, we got one. 12, 17. Um, sorry, my cat is meowing. Alright, sorry about that. Um, Alright, so these are the wolves. So we've met the Tallulah males, the Tallulah brothers, and the Eagle Creek sisters. So that's 1217F, 1014F, and 1218F. We're gonna let them go. But yeah. <laughs> so I just wanted to give you guys that update. Alright, so I actually just got an achievement for Geode Falls, and so if you guys don't know what Geode Falls looks like, this is what it looks like, and it honestly looks amazing. I love this. I think it's such a unique rock structure in the game, especially for waterfalls, and it even comes up here. And I will also give you guys the location for when you guys try out Hell Roaring, uh, Hell Roaring Mountain. Uh, the Hell Roaring Mountain DLC. And it's a coyote over there. But I'll show you guys what this achievement looks like and where you guys can find Geode Falls. So, obviously you're going to find Geode Falls. Oh, so this must be Geode Creek. And um, it's going to be like through here. And literally right here, like in this like ravine kind of thing. I think that's what that is. Um, I don't know, but it's basically between these two, like, fragmented woods here. Um, and I did end up finding another den right here. Um, but yeah, so, I know I keep saying I'll see you guys when I'm done marking the territory. I'm not quite done yet. Um, uh, I've come across a few things like the wolves and Geod Falls. Oh, and let me show you guys what, uh, the... Thing, uh, the achievement looks like so uh, let's see I think it would be in here would it be no it wouldn't oh here we go hell roaring right no where would you find this then I don't think you'd be in core no said that oh okay I was looking for the picture it came with but 
Um, I mean, yeah, it was. I think it was a totally different picture than this. But you'll see now that Jude Falls under Explore is now checked off. So, um, yeah, so this is where you can find it for that achievement. Alrighty, so I have officially, um, mar like, marked the entire territory, and this is what it looks like. It's honestly pretty big, and I'm pretty sure this is roughly the same size as, uh, Buckley's last territory on Anthos Mountain. I can actually get rid of this. On Anthos Mountain, um, once we finished with his last letter. So, honestly, I'm a little worried about how big it'll be when we start claiming some of these hexes along our border here in case um, some wolves try to harm our future pups. Um, so, now what we will get to do is come here to quests and now we can finish quest. So, territory established. You've established a territory, but remember you must maintain it even when your pups require all your time and attention. The smaller your territory, the more likely stranger wolves will be tempted to come in and kill your pups. It's most efficient It's most efficient to mark territory when hexes have dropped to 30% or 40% strength. Plan your hunting trips so you can mark those hexes along the way. You can already hear the water. So now we will be looking for Dan and we'll skip because we already know. And honestly, I love this rock structure here. Um, it's like I already love Hell Roaring Mountain. It's so much it's so unique compared to like Slew Creek or at this mountain. Just with like all the different types of rock structures and like the Wolverines, which no other map has that. Um, and not even Lost River. And we are by this pond here. It doesn't seem to have a name. Um, but yeah, so, um, I'm already so excited and like, uh, I, I really hope that we will have really good luck with this litter like we did with, um, our, our previous litter. But yeah, so, um, last thing that we're gonna do here is actually have Buckley sleep because his, um, he is just exhausted. He spent days just marking his territory. And actually, we met a wolf, oh, I didn't, um, it was very brief, so I didn't, like, bother to resume the video or anything, but we met another wolf, and I'm pretty sure it was just a solo. Um, as far as I, I know, I didn't see any brothers with him. But, it's actually, um, 10, uh, 10.06M, uh, and he's from the Benchmark, and he's four years old. Um, honestly, if you guys have any names for these guys so we can recognize them more, uh, please comment them down below. Um, I would definitely appreciate that. And if you guys have any names for any, like, honestly, I think that's, oh my god, can you lift up his head again? <laughs> I kind of like, like the whole like brown. Come on, just turn your head, please. Yeah, I like that. Kind of like that. Anyways, so I hope you guys <laughs> enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like it. It will definitely help with, um, uh, with my channel. And if you guys want to see more content by me, please be. Uh, please be sure to subscribe, and if you guys have anything to say, comment. Again, would love name and suggestions, just whatever feedback you guys have. Just anything, I would definitely appreciate it, and I always say that, but it's true. Um, and it helps with the channel. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you guys have a great day or night. And bye!